Good evening, welcome to ITV News. This is Monday Night's Calendar. And these are tonight's main stories. But first, to calls today for ministers to set up a task force to help residents across our region who are facing bankruptcy because of the cladding crisis. Yes, MPs are voting this evening on a motion urging the government to take urgent action to help those still living in homes clad in dangerously flammable material. Many are facing huge bills because they live in apartment blocks now deemed unsafe following the Grenfell Tower fire in which 72 people died. David Hurst reports. Well, the Prime Minister has insisted that places like Hull, which are predicted to feel the economic effects of the pandemic more than most, can bounce back if they're given the right support. Well, those four ports are also places identified as areas with a large potential workforce who could benefit from jobs, benefits which they say would extend far beyond the port itself and as far as places like Wakefield and Doncaster. Well, joining us now is Simon Bird from the Associated British Paul. Thank you. Well, also coming up with football's transfer window about to close, we'll have the weekend's action. Inclusion and staff shortages meant it was always a already a service under strain, and COVID-19 has added to that pressure, with thousands of elderly people in care homes dying from coronavirus. Experts say lessons have to be learned, as Kevin Ashford reports. Well, the ITV Evening News continues at 6:30. Here's a look at what's happening with Mary Nightingale. Well, on to the weekend's goals and although Sheffield United couldn't manage to take down a second Manchester giant in the space of four days, they lost 1-0 at City on Saturday. But there are definite signs that the Blades are sharpening up their act. With that and the rest of the action, here's Chris Dogs. Chris, thank you very much. Now, finally, who remembers that famous scene in The Vicar of Dibley when Geraldine goes for a playful splash in a puddle in the countryside and vanishes completely? Straight in the big hole. I love that. Absolute classic. And in fact, jumping in a puddle is becoming a bit of a fundraiser, aiming to raise more than a million pounds for Cancer Research UK. A simple idea, inspired by a single and rather heartfelt conversation, as Derek Johnson now reports. He's an incredibly special bloke, is Gary. Really he is, is indeed. Well done, Gary, for thinking of that wonderful idea. And let's hope it raises lots of money. Here's Kerry now with the weather. Kerry, thank you. That's it. Our next update's 10.30. The national and international stories follow shortly with Mary Nightingale. But for now, from the whole team on calendar, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow at 6. Bye-bye.